Uh, my name is Michael Shishkin from Kharkiv University, uh, Ukraine, uh, and I'd like to introduce two works uh, that make a solution for describing processes in the human heart in the case when an arrhythmia attack has occurred. If you allow me, I would do a general introduction, introduction for both of the article that I'm going to present because they concern similar areas, but use different methods for it. Uh, and instead, uh, the preamble, I'd like to remind some key facts about cardiovascular diseases. You can see this on page one. Only two numbers here are 70.8 million deaths and uh, 80. 85% uh, of these are due to heart attacks and strokes, but it frequently happens due to atrial fibrillation concept. But by the way, atrial fibrillation increases the risk of stroke by six times and risk of the heart attack by two times. Uh, statistics, uh, uh, statistics about atrial fibrillation, you can see on the second page and uh, it's a really huge number and awful case in the world, awful uh, cases in the world uh, with this type of arrhythmia. Uh, research in the field of analysis of electrical activity of the heart has been carried out all over the world for more than a dozen years. Uh, and uh, it would seem almost all processes of formation, distribution, influence of cardiac action potential have been sufficiently studied to synchronize the work of such complex object as a heart. But the main cause of death is still diseases of the cardiovascular system. That is despite uh, the anatomical, biological, medical study of the principles of the functioning of the heart, and uh, I think that this uh, list could contain a lot of screens. And since still faces difficulties in early diagnosis and even more so in predicting pathological changes in the heart. There are a number of reasons for this. Uh, in particular, uh, mm, uh, the need for constant monitoring of cardiac activity the complexity of extracting and predicting the electrical signal of the heart during such monitoring, the interpretation of the data obtained in real time, and the time identification of the doctor or patient about the accumulation of things uh, that indicating the occurrence of changes in cardiovascular system that are dangerous to health. Uh, if we consider the methods of obtaining and interpreting uh, the signal of electrical acti activity of heart, then practically is only method is ETG, uh, well, and it's various modifications. And the uh, halter monitoring also is still the gold standard in the field of continuous cardiac signal monitoring. However, the methods of conducting both ETG and halter studies are inapplicable and inapplicable for obtaining long-term data between more than 72 hours, especially those obtained and processed online. The way out of this situation could be not obtaining a complete ETG and its processing, but using the implementation inherent in the heart rhythm. Unfortunately, uh, at the moment, there is no sufficiently reliable, reliable method to obtain additional and essential information about the processes occurring in the heart in terms of reading. Uh, and uh, the authors try to statistically substantiate this possibility based on the event description of the reading. So, uh, any rhythmogram can be interpreted. Uh, in two ways, as a sequence of random durations of heart contraction in the time, 
In this case, the duration of RR inter interval can be considered a random continuous variable for such a process. And B, as a stream of random events inside the cardiac conduction system. Uh, the result of which is the contraction of the ventricles uh, that airwaves uh, of electrical, we can see the airwaves of the electrocardiogram. A random discrete value of such a stream of events can be conventionally considered as the heart rate average or the fixed time interval. Both variants of this presentation of the rhythmogram allow considering is probabilistic properties using either distribution rules uh, for continuous or discrete random variable. Uh, if we option A, this uh, you can see on the page five, uh, uh, then it should be noted that full information about the probabilistic properties, uh, properties of random process is carried by the probability distribution probability distribution uh, uh, fx of the random variable x. Such a probability distribution in general case can be represented in the form of inverse Fourier transform of the characteristic function theta of the random variable. In turn, theta can be represented uh, as n infinite series whose elements linearly depend on the initial moments alpha. Uh, on the other hand, the initial modes can be expressed in terms of centered standard numerical char characteristics like central moments or cumulants. From system of expression, the initial moments. Do you see my presentation well? Sorry. Yes, yes, I see your presentation. Yes. Because I blink in my uh, monitor. Uh, oh, on the other hand, the initial moments can be expressed in terms of central standard numerical characteristics. From system of expression that the, in, that the initial moments and combinations of above standard characteristics like mean, variance, asymmetry, and cortisis coefficient. When uh, using the discrete model, uh, this page six, uh, it's convenient to study an informative parameter about changes in the properties of the stream of random events uh, as a connectivity coefficient. Uh, it equals the ratio of the square of the mean value to the variance, a rare interval in the sliding observation window. Here we can see the dependence of connectivity coefficients uh, are, are uh, of the interval for uh, two alternative cardio states. S0 is normal rhythms, rhythm and S1 uh, in case uh, when atrial fibrillation onset. Uh, figure, figures five and six will illustrate the significant variability of the used numerical characteristics when changing the cardiac state. It should be known that such variability is characterized by important diagnostic properties, uh, like a change in cardiac space entails a change in all without exception numerical characteristics, which indicates a change in the probabilistic model when the cardiac uh, state changes. And then science option B uh, uses a complex indicator like connectivity coefficient that depends on the mean variance and the interaction. Uh, it is more visual and informatively uh, preferable for constructing uh, a probabilistic model of the dynamic of electrical activity of the heart. Analyzing of Analyzing of variance was carried out to assess the significance of these characteristics and their interaction. Uh, this slide shows us uh, results of one factor uh, analysis of variance uh, named ANOVA, 
for the results of each of the rhythmogram areas uh, at the level of significance uh, alpha equals 0 0.05 made it possible to calculate Fisher's criterion statistics with degrees of freedom numbers 5 and 100. 94 for each of the studied variants of cardiac state. Results of calculation are pages on seven. Uh, and means the following. The rhythmogram, regardless of cardiac state, uh, is a non-stationarity in terms of mean value, a random process. And uh, non stationarity for the normal rhythm state is much higher than for the atrial fibrillation state. Uh, here uh, we can see also uh, after correlation analysis for both states uh, allow us to draw the following con conclusions. Regardless of the type of cardiac state, the rhythmogram uh, is an ergodic process. And after correlation function for the normal uh, sinus rhythm is wider than uh, for the atrial fibrillation. Uh, this means that the spectra of the arrhythmogram for normal and atrial fibrillation uh, states have different width. Uh, the minimum uh, allowable observation width should not be less, in this case, uh, should not be less than uh, 200 points which provides an after-correlation level uh, not exceeding uh, 0.2. Next. Next page is the result of two-factor analysis, correlation analysis. If you can see, uh, you can see initial table and result of Fisher statistics calculation. Mm. Main result of this calculation is uh, to find uh, maximal uh, maximal informative parameter for detective uh, uh, cardio state, and uh, uh, you can see that this parameter is the connectivity coefficient. Uh, uh, table on the bottom of the screen, and uh, at and finally, conclusions. Uh, most of all, the factor cardiac state affects the coefficient of connectivity since its S statistic is maximal. Uh, it goes uh, almost uh, 36. Uh, F factor has a lesser effect of the rest of numerical characteristics. And for the mean variance and uh, asymmetric coefficient, the factor influence is statistically significant. There is the statistics are higher than the critical value. And third, in fact, the space of informative parameters for the information of the procedure for recognizing an atrial fibrillation attack includes four basic uh, parameters listed in descending order of their diagnostic properties. There are a connectivity coefficient first, and then mean variance and asymmetry coefficient. That's all. Thank you for attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Questions from audience, please. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, I would like uh, to thank uh, Mikhailo for uh, the very interesting uh, presentation, especially uh, the parameters uh, that uh, he derived from raw data that can help uh, in uh, finding out what is really happening with the patient. Uh, my question is, uh, have you tried to use machine learning uh, applied to your data or to your rhythmograms? I got your uh, questions. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, machine learning is very interesting. Uh, method for adopting this algorithm and uh, increase uh, uh, increase level of significance of this uh, uh, this method uh, but uh, uh, machine learning is the next stage uh, of our uh, uh, of our research and uh, today 
we try to find uh, uh, great uh, professionals for uh, have uh, uh, practice with this uh, part of science. Uh, maybe uh, our cooperation uh, with uh, uh, computer mathematics department. Uh, next work, uh, I will be present uh, both uh, our department and computer mathematics uh, take to help uh, us to this machine learning algorithm. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, I wish you success in this direction. I hope. Thank you very much.